Man, that is some good coffee. <laughs> That's very strong. That is some tasty coffee, some hot coffee. Well, you know, cheers to that. A strong coffee, a hot coffee. <laughs> <sighs> so how you been? How's it, what's going on with you? It's been a while. It's been good. It's been real good, to be honest. My life has been a rousing success. My business, Tom, my business is booming. Business is booming. I don't know what to do with all my money at this point. I know it's a bit of a problem, but... Uh... That's a problem that not everybody has. I certainly don't have that problem. What about you, Tom? How, how are you doing? Ah, uh, you know, things aren't going so hot. Oh. My wife's leaving me. She's getting, she, she wants a divorce. Yikes. It was kind of weird. She just walked into the house one day and was like, hey, Thomas, screw you. I'm out. And I was like, well, what do you mean? She's like, we're getting the big divorce. Big D. She's trying to take everything. She's trying to take the house. She's trying to take the dog. She's trying to take my clothes. I don't know what she could possibly want with my clothes, but she wants them. You know, it's possible your wife might have been sleeping with several different men at once. Either way, uh, this is sort of why I called you here today. I'm going to need a lot of emotional support in the next probably six months to a year. Somebody who I can really be in touch with, who I can call at all hours um, in the night. I'm going to probably be calling in the night because I'm a big crier. And I cry a lot when I'm sad. And I'm pretty sad right now because of this divorce. And so I thought I'd, you know, get a hold of an old friend, you know? And so, yeah, I was sort of wondering if you'd be the dude who would uh, deal with me. Uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm a very emotionally distant person. I'm very cold. I don't like to talk about feelings to anybody. Uh, I don't like to talk about my own feelings. So I don't accept your proposal for love or support. I reject it. And in that way, I reject you. Well, I, I suppose that's fair enough. All right, well, um, why do you think you're like that? Why do you think you're such a cold person? Oh, you don't want to hear about all that. No, what? <laughs> why, why, why are you like that? Uh, nah, it's not important. Come on, you got to tell me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm on the I, edge really of my doesn't. seat. Please, Come it's obscene. On, tell no, no, me. No, I don't want to gloat. Tell me. <laughs> so silly. Uh, yeah, no, when I was a child, my mother would lock me in a box, a steel box with holes in it. She would call it the bad boy box. She would take branches and start poking me with it, and she would shake it a lot. It was sort of a way of telling me that I was a bad boy, but I guess that's why I'm sort of emotionally distant. It's probably what it is. That's really intense. You know, my mom was a little bit of a stickler too. I mean, she was always making me do chores and stuff. Tom, Tom, I don't want to hear about your problems. Okay, well, um, <clears throat> what, do you, what do you like talking about? Honestly, I've been really getting into raw denim. The hard, raw the raw hard, denim? You know, your jeans are made of denim. Quite fascinating. So raw denim is made out of, well, it's made out of denim. Uh, I like wearing it. I like when people see me wear it. Yeah, I don't know anything about raw denim, so I can't really like relate to you on this subject. Oh. You know, Tom, we don't really have much in common anymore. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, this yeah, relationship, uh, honestly, I don't think that we should really be talking yeah, I mean, that right. I, we don't connect anymore. Not at all. I don't know who you I mean, are. I'm very successful. You're an emotional ghost. I don't want this. Yeah. Sad yeah. life. Let's call it there. I think we should. Cheers.